I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Shanksville Little Vikings, and welcome to another splendidly suburb episode of WVIK Viking News Network for Little Vikes. Today is Friday, January 15th. We are all ready for another weekend. I am Isaiah Rittenauer. And I am Avery Huster. And, and these, these are your morning, morning announcements. announcements. Today's lunch is cheese pizza and tossed salad. Monday, January 18th is an at 80 day. There is no school for students. January 20th is the end of the second nine-week grading period. Report cards will be distributed on January 27th. Did you know the first U.S. built locomotive to pull a passenger train made its first run on this day in 1831? So Avery, what are your plans for the weekend? Well Isaiah, I have a lot planned but I'm especially interested in watching the Steelers game on Sunday against Denver. That will be an exciting rematch. Oh yeah, haha. <laughs> the Steelers game, I guess you watched that see, to see the tricks the cheerleaders do and look at some cute guys. Uh, white quite. What quite do you mean, Isaiah? Are you trying to imply something? No, no, I mean, I guess it is okay if your dad tells you what is happening during the game and explains the rules. I mean, you know, I don't think girls really get football. You just didn't say that, did you, Buster? Well, let me tell you something. Girls can watch and know football just as well as any old stinking boy, probably more. Okay, okay, keep telling yourself that. No, I am telling you that. You want to find out? It's on. Okay, Mr. Football Genius, let's start with an easy one. Who is the quarterback for the Den Denver Broncos? Um, well, let's see, I think... Well, well, the last time I checked, let's see, I think, isn't a football player. In fact, Denver has two options at quarterback. Peyton Manning is returning from injury, and the team had success with backup Bronk Osweiler. Therefore, they have two quarterbacks. Okay, okay, well that is not common knowledge, but I bet you don't know who the backup quarterback is for the Steelers. Oh, real toughy there, Mr. Gr Gridiron. I think the answer just may be Landry Jane, who may have been playing if starting, starting quarterback Ben Roethlisberger can't play due to torn ligaments in his shoulder. So you know something about quarterbacks. You probably know that because you think they are really cute. Really? 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 Well, there, Ironhead, let's discuss some real football, X's and O's. So, what do you think the Steelers' offensive strategy will be against a, De a Denver defense that ranked at the top of the league last year? Um, well, um, they need to play hard and score lots of touchdowns. Great strategy. No one will ever figure that one out. Don't you think they ought to establish a running game to keep the pressure off the off Roethlisberger's injured shoulder and use the pass to complement a running game? Likewise, getting a good running game will going will also maintain possession from the ball and keep it away from Denver's dangerous offense and the pressure off the Steelers' leaky defense. Um, yeah, that too. So Isaiah, how are the how are those cheerleaders looking right about now? Uh, I like cheerleaders. 
Yo, dude, the Steelers, the Steelers don't have cheerleaders. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Well, she is Avery Cooster, and she knows her football. And he is Isaiah Rittenauer, and he now knows that girls rock. Mm-hmm. Have, have a Super Steelers weekend. weekend.